His stare down is second to none. Jackson meets him with a smile. Silva, nothing but focus and intensity. 145 remaining around two, and Jackson walks into a right hand, and he's stunned. He's yeah. really uh -oh. That's a knee again, reminiscent of the middleweight tournament. Oh, my gosh, George Jackson has been knocked out. With the right knee to the head. Boom, that was the right hook that started everything. And another one. And now he's going to get that knee. Watch this. And suddenly a full hit. That was already hit. And now one knee comes. That was the knee. The finishing knee. Oh, my God. Vanderlei Silva knocks out Quentin Rampage Jackson. And there you see it. He remains the top of the Pride Middleweight Mountain. And this Anderson Silva from Curitiba, Brazil, is reputed to be the best technician standing and on the ground from the shoot box gym. And we know what Carlos Newton is good at. Carlos, very relaxed standing up. He said he was going to bang with the guy if he wanted yeah. to. I don't think that would be a good idea, though. Oh! No way. He's out. He's out. It looked like it might have caught him with a shin. But, oh, my God. That was, wow. That was a knockout, folks. That was six minutes. 26 seconds into round one. Carlos made the crucial mistake of going to the stand-up well one too many times with Mr. Anderson Silva, the self-reported Roy Jones of mixed martial arts. Luis Azaredo is 28, 5'8", 170 pounds. He's 1 and 0 in Pride Fighting Championships. Oh. Takanori Fireball Kid Gomi is 26. He is 5'6", 154 pounds, undefeated in Pride at 5 and 0. And there are some of his students from the Kaguchi Dojo who are here in support. It's been a tremendous... Oh. Here. I mean, I can't believe this. Takanori Gomi. And now look at Ujamar Rodrigo. We got problems in the ring. And yeah. Takanori Gomi, Eves Edwards. Wow. See, all that extra drink list stuff is a little bit unnecessary. Let's see if it's going to happen. There we go. Nice to that. see. And that's what it's all about here at Pride Fighting Championships. And he is perhaps the most gifted look athlete in MMA with an awe-inspiring vertical leap. A man who exudes confidence, started wrestling at the age of 10, winning a state championship in high school, two titles nationally. This guy is a very gifted wrestler, and now comes his opponent, Fyodor Emelianenko, the Pride Heavyweight Champion. Wow, this song, I think, is one of the greatest entrance songs there is. I love this song. Yeah. And there it is, the Pride Heavyweight Championship belt. And this guy really doesn't convey any emotion whatsoever. Half guard, and there is a... Can Turns it around. around. Whoa! Yeah! Oh my gosh, oh my his head! head! Please, you should oh need your head on! Oh my god! He's like he's hearing you, boss. North, south position, unbelievable! We have the king of the slam sitting right beside us. Oh, and You've got to be amazed, but wow, talk about amazing. Amelia Danko turns the tables quick. Amelia Danko able to take that slam and now in Can dominant position. Up. Hold on, his leg. He's an opportunity here to drain in some knees if he establishes himself better. North South. Oh, here we go. There it is. Oh.
Good job. With the Cobra. Oh, you did a good slam, baby. Wow. Forces Kevin Randleman to tap. And now the emotions will come forward. Let's look at this. Look at the suplex here. I right on his head. Suplex lands oh, right on his head. Oh, that's Rampage style. John going underneath, grab the wrist, and that's it. It's over. Theodore Emelianenko submits Kevin the Monster Randleman. And what an emotionally charged matchup it was.